bring the funk back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WCW World Chesser Wrestling, episode 28. Um, we are in somewhere in California this week. We'll, we'll say we're in San Francisco this week. I don't remember exactly. I don't think that's the exact place, but we're... Let's just say we're in San Francisco this week. And what a perfect place for our main event tonight. AJ Styles and Sheamus will do battle against one another to determine who will be the number one contender for Damien Priest's World Heavyweight Championship. At Clash in the Castle, or whatever we have at around the time WWE does Clash in the Castle. Um, so excited for that match. And speaking of other number one contenders matches, we continue the qualifying for the Fatal Four Way to determine who will. Become our first WCW inaugural United States Champion. Mustafa Ali and Ilya Dragunov do battle against one another. And I must say, Ilya Dragunov is going to need a lot. Going to have to fight to get past Retribution. Um, and folks, if you remember... Um, Shane the Hurricane Helms made his WCW debut at SummerSlam, beating the modern day Malahara Jinder Mahal. Well, after that match, Happy Corbin attacked him. And now these two will finally meet each other one on one. And this is a match I'm a little excited to see. Um, and. Drew McIntyre will go one on one against Otis of Heavy Machinery. Now, Drew McIntyre trying his best to um, get a win here in WCW World Chess Wrestling. He, and if you're not, if you're not picking up wins against major stars, you gotta stop from start from the bottom up, and that is exactly what Drew McIntyre is doing. As he takes on. A tree trunk from a man of a man in Otis of Heavy Machinery. And our opening contest, uh, folks, we've had several runs between Brizongo and Imperium, and Imperium has just been dumb in this feud between Brizongo and Imperium continues as Brizongo does battle against. Walter and Alexander Wolf. Oh man, this is exciting. I want to get the show started. And uh, what better way to get the show started than these two guys? Please, I know. Oh, I love these guys so much. I mean, we've seen what Blizzango can do as a tag team. And they have failed. They have not failed to impress me at all. These guys have heart. They have. They have a will to win. And they have not. Back down from 
the challenges that Imperium has laid out for them. Standing up against all four of these men, Walter, Marcel Bartel, Fabian Actor, and Alexander Wolf. Uh, by the way, I was glad to see Wolf pick up his uh, pick up a win in his WCW debut last week. But Breeze Angle, you know they're gonna, they expect a fight here, and that's what I expect too. From but hey, these four men. They are built for a fight. No doubt about that in my mind. Walter, Fabian Ackner, Marcel Bartel, Alexander Wolf. They are Imperium. A merciless group of wrestlers that consider the ring their sacred ground. And they knock down anybody who dare oppose them. And look, I, I know Brizango has stood up to Imperium. And last week, a couple of weeks ago, they lost to um, the Imperium team of Marcel Bartel, Fabian Ackner. But this is different. This is going to be a bit of a different challenge. You're not going up against Bartel and Ackner, the tag team specialist. You're going up against Alexander Wolf and the big man, Walter. I mean, this is going to, this is probably going to be a bit of a different challenge. But these guys are merciless, nonetheless. If Breeze Allen's got any answers for Imperium, any answers how to beat Imperium, they've got to do it now. They've got to find a way to win. Walter and Fernando staying off for their respective sides. Oh, Fernando dodges the trap, but not that one. Walter striking away early on, trying to now Dragon Fandango to his corner and chopping away at Fandango's chest. Oh, just taunting him in the corner. Now, Walter going for the cover on Fandango early on. Fandango kicks out. So fairly early in this match. Oh, Fandango's going to be up for a fight here. And Walter mercilessly stomping away on Fandango's chest. Walter showing no mercy, tagging the arm. Oh, Fernando right back up. Now was Fernando looking for here. Hits one arm. Tosses Walter, stomping away on his chest. I'm so sorry about that freeze up. Hopefully it won't happen too much. Oh, nice counter from Walter. Oh, ripcord chop, another one. Just grabbing the arm and pulling him into a chop. Makes the tag to Alexander Wolf. Wolf is legal for the first time. Now, just pounding away aggressively on Fandango. Fandango rolls the outside of the ring. Smart move. You gotta get, get away from Imperium. Now, Fandango taking some time to rest. Alexander Wolf. Just acting like he don't even care. He ain't invoking sweat yet. Uh, hopefully, Fandango uses this time to recover and get back in this match. Oh, yeah, going up against. Marcel Bart... No, Tell! Oh, headlock to it. Tell, oh, going after Fabian Eckner now. Drops him right on top of his head. Oh, but Alexander Wolf right on him. Wolf striking away. Oh. Should not take your eyes off the target, Fandango. Alexander Wolf took advantage. Of the distraction, we're right back to work. Oh, nice channel from Fernando though. He's still out over the whistle strike. Get away, Alexander Wolf. Going after Marcel Bartel. Count, referee's count is at seven. Fernando finally gets back into the ring. Now, front top rope doing a showboating. Oh, but Alexander Wolf takes advantage. 
Now scoop, and oh, Belair escapes. Nice counter to a DET. Makes the tie to Tyler Breeze. Good move. Tyler, legal man for the first time. Let's see what he can do. And by Miss Carey, drops Alex and will fit. Throw first on top rope. Now, Tyler Breeze climbing the top rope. Look at the fly leg drop to the back of the neck. Perfectly placed. Oh, nice counter from Alexander Wolf. Who trips Tyler Breeze, makes the tag to the big man Walter. But Breeze with a jumping forearm. And just brushes it off. Oh, but Walter back on his feet. Dragging Tyler Breeze. To a neutral corner. And now attacking him in the corner. Chopping the arm in the ropes and just wrenching on it. Using ropes for leverage. And tossing Tyler Breeze by his head. Oh, Tyler should have stayed on Walter. And Walter. Oh, drops Tyler Breeze. Now, oh, Breeze trips Walter though. Great counter. But it's not over yet. Please, DT Canax. <laughs> it makes it hard to find out, yo. We'll move there. But now he's back in this match. Oh, but Walter with a kick. Uh, Whipcord, not sure I'm where we at. Oh, Fandango rolls to the outside. Now, Walter going right after Tyler Breeze. This might actually be a smart move. Oh, Walter, what's he looking for? Oh my goodness, back suplex on the apron. Oh, he is decapitating Tyler Breeze right now. Well, his well, the legal man, Fandango, is right on the outside. So, come on from that short arm lariat. Oh, man. Fandango climbs back inside the ring. Now, looking to go after Alexander Wolf. Knocks him off the apron. Go after Walter, but Walter then me him. Puts both arms. Tosses Fandango. Now, dragging Fandango away from the ropes, just like that. Walter takes advantage. Going for the cover. This could be it. One. No. Fandango kicks out. How is he still alive in this match? Drop kick from Fandango. Oh, misses with the leg lariat. Uh, Walter. Doing his best to take advantage. Looking for the powerbomb trifecta. No, we got it. Just one. That's it. No. Tyler Breeze going to break things up. Walter was right there. If Brizano's corner. Tyler Breeze. I trip to a neutral corner. Ooh. For now, I trip right into the referee. Walter hooks the arms again. Tosses Fandango again. Golly. Now going after Tyler Breeze. Just manhandling Brizango. Tosses him out of the ring. Oh no. Oh, Walter's not done with Tyler Breeze. He is not done. Oh, please, nice counter. Now, Fernando trying to go after Imperium. Power slam to Marcel Bartel. Walter got back in the ring. Fernando going after Fame Actor. Hats I hold up to Tyler. Oh, Walter's out. Tyler Breeze trapped. And a pounding way on his chest. Five. Just pounding away. Oh. Fernando trying to break things up. But Walter just wouldn't be too strong. Now finally taking advantage. And. Killing. Fernando around. Toss him in the corner. Now to the ground. Fernando now climbing top rope. Look at the fly. Looking for the. No, I thought he was going for that leg drop. Instead, it was a splash. Let me get this fixed. Just like that, Fernando's back in this match. I was whip. Walter's already, but oh, nice counter though. The Walter got taken. Oh, but Fernando, no, oh, Walter using the ropes. Oh, smart move, Walter. Dodges the drop kick. Now, what's Walter in the money? Neck breaker to Fandango. Fandango's got to make tag title Breeze sooner or later. Now, Walter hooks the arms. And no! Fandango with a counter to an arm drag. Went to the well one too many times that move. Fandango. Dragging Walter away from the ropes. Walter's a bit late though. Coming for the cover. 
Oh, Walter, he thinks he has a one. No, Walter kicks out. Big man like that is that easy to drop. But for now, they're staying right on him. And let's, oh, Walter will see outside of the ring to recover. And now, the man will go after. After Alexander Wolf drops, drop tricks him to the outside. Now, going after the rest of Imperium. Tosses Fabian Ackner into the ring barrier. Oh, right back up. Just like that. Oh, Gord goes right back after Alexander Wolf. Hip toss. Now, going after Marcel Bartel. Immature takedown. So where's your focus, Fernando? He gets back in the ring. Goes right after Alexander Wolf. Walter looking for an opening to get back in. Fernando lets him get back in. I don't know if that was a smart move, really. But Fernando taking advantage. Driving. Walter head first into the mat. Makes tag title breeze. Breeze with a jumping forearm. There's a little showboating. But that leaves room for Walter to make the tag to Alexander Wolf. Please don't jump in for him. Going after Walter. Alex whips him out of the ring. Now, Breeze with a double knees to the back. Breeze is back in this match. Makes the tag to Fandango. I do not know that was a good idea, but I don't care. Alexander Wolf back in the ring. Oh, Tyler. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Marcel Bartel trying to take care of Fandango on his own. But. <laughs> Fandango not giving up nothing. Oh, hip toss from Wolf. Nice counter. Um. A wolf. Places Fandango's corner. And what's the guy in mind here? Oh! Four arm connects. Fandango trap nowhere to go as Alex and the Wolf continues his aggressive assault. Man. Now Alexander Wolf go for the cover. One, two, no! Oh, I thought that was it, but Fernando continues to fight. No, oh, let's see how I'm here. Drag him to the corner. Again. Oh! Fernando fights out of the corner. Fighting for his life. Hip toss to the Kick to the back. Wolf rolls to the outside of the ring. Oh, Fandango is fighting like his life depends on it. Just like Moro and Doctor Strange. A fight like your life depends on it because one day it may. Oh, I love that movie. I actually watched that movie, Doctor Strange, a couple days ago. For the first time in a while. Now, Fandango going after... Walter drop kicks as Walter to the outside. Oh, well. Wolf takes advantage. Find his carry. Into a Death Valley driver. He's dragging Fernando away from the ropes. And the cover. That's it. One, two, three. And just like that, Imperium continues to shine against Pizango. These men have torn apart Buzango. They just dominant a dominant force to be reckoned with. But man, what a match here. I mean, that match was already won when Walter hit that pow bomb on Fandango. But it was his mistake on not dragging him out of He's on your score. It's Tyler Breeze right there and make the save. I can't see anything in this replay. But it was a great match. Nonetheless. Alas, Alexander Wolf in there with that Death Valley driver. Imperium. Continues to shine. As Walter and Alexander Wolf win their tag team debut. And what a tag team debut that was. And I know we're going to see more of these 
for men future what a force they are to be reckoned with but coming up next um Shane the Hurricane Helms goes one on one against Happy Corbin that's coming up next people stay tuned so um oh man I cannot believe we got Happy Corbin back here in WCW, but you have to question his antics of back at SummerSlam. Shane Helms, Shane the Hurricane Helms, Happy Corbin's opponent tonight, was wrestling Jinder Mahal in his WCW debut. Shane beats Jinder, and then after that match, Corbin attacked the Hurricane, and last week, Corbin came out, came out and said, you know, Corbin, I mean, he said, that Helms was a farce, a fake hero, not someone they could count on. And just like that, Shane Helms came out from backstage area and challenged Choppy Corbin to a match. Say, hey, if you're so confident. I'm a fluke. Why don't you take me on one and one? We'll see who the real winner is. There's Hurricane Shenton Helms. Oh, man. Making his WCW TV debut, so to speak. And he is a... This guy is a superhero. That's what he is. No justice can be served tonight when... Shane Hurricane Helms is in the ring. This is guy people can look up to. But can he beat Happy Corbin tonight? I mean, we haven't seen Happy Corbin wrestle in forever, so... This is going to be interesting. Shane Helms can take advantage of that. I think he can win this. But Happy Corbin is starting off by striking away at Helms. Oh, got him on the rope. Striking away. Oh! Helms... Fights him off and got red suplex to the big man. Oh, Helms is not done. Neck breaker connects. Beautiful and crisp. Now, Helms is punching Corbin in the face. Corbin is that. You can start. Oh, Helms not done. Staying on him. Oh, Corbin right back up. Now, a oh, nice counter from Helms. A driving. Corbin's heading to the mat. We haven't seen this. This is aggressive side of Shane Helms. We haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Hurricane going for the cover. Corbin takes out basically zero. And then they run that, bring that, bring that. And Corbin, take advantage. Dragging um, Helms to a corner. And now, oh, a big body shot. And a, I guess a variation of a bulldog, maybe? Just sling down face first to the mat. Now, Corbin placing Helms on ropes. And now attacking me more. I'll whip. Oh, knee connects. Not only just staying on him. And Russian likes we just like that. Happy Corbin's back in this match. Stomping on the trapped arm. Oh! Nice counter from Helms from the opening. Close on corner. Oh, Corbin fights out of the corner, though. Kicks him, kicks him in his face, but Helms fighting through the pain. Scoops him up. Backbreaker connects. Now, Corbin, I mean, Helms go for the cover. Corbin kicks out. Wow, that's bad. Hang on a sec. I should pause out earlier. I am so sorry. But just try and imagine what you saw. 
Oh, Corbin dodges a light drop. Nice counter from Corbin. And Corbin knocks him down with a forearm. A stomp in the way on Shane Helms. Now what's Corbin looking for here? Russian leg sweep. Corbin going for the cover and Helms to win. Helms kicks out one. Oh, Corbin is getting my frustrated. Oh, we're looking for the choke slam backbreaker. Oh, but he's not going for the cover. That may not be a wise move. Oh, maybe it was a wise move. End of days. Just like that. Happy Corbin's going for the cover. One, two, three. Happy Corbin picks up the win. Wow. Well, that was a. That was actually pretty good match. You know, Shane, though, came home, skated his all in that match. And. There's that backbreaker I talked about earlier. And. Even though Helms came up short. I mean. I hate to, though. But let's talk about Happy Corbin picking up the win. I mean, this is his first match in a while. We have not had Happy Corbin on WCW regularly. And so. Oh, gee. Oh, sorry about that little mess up, people. But we'll get right back to the action here as we continue the qualifying matches for the Fatal 4-Way to determine our inaugural United States Champion. And... Where is he? I guess Mr. Farley's not out here. We'll pretend he's out here. That doesn't hurt. Why does Ali never come out with his buddies? Whenever I have him come out, have him in a match. This is ridiculous. But anyhow. This second qualifying match between Mustafa Ali and Ilya Dragunov is sure to burn the house down, that's for sure. Mustafa Ali has been. has been. he's had several matches with Samoa Joe in recent months. And he feels like he's been overlooked in WCW, and he deserves a real opportunity to show what he can do. And, and honestly, I hate to agree with Ali, and I usually don't, but he is right. He is right. He deserves an opportunity. I think... There's Ali, finally. <laughs> Seriously, that entrance was messed up. But Ali's out here. He's got to go through this man to qualify f f for the field four-way to determine our, uh, our inaugural United States champion, Ilya Dragunov. We saw him make his... We saw Dragunov make his debut a couple weeks ago against Chad Gable. And what a... What an amazing match that was. Ilya Dragunov jumping right into the title picture. And I, I will not be surprised if Ilya Dragunov can pull it off. I mean, he put up a heck of a fight against Chad Gable, but it's going to require that same amount of courage and stamina to beat the high flying Mr. Farley. I mean, I, I do believe Ilya Dragunov can do it. I really do believe he can. It's gonna be a fight, though. No doubt about that in my mind. Dragunov's become one of my favorite wrestlers here in WCW. I mean, he is an amazing wrestler. He truly is. But can he beat Mr. Farley to qualify for the fatal four-way match to crown our inaugural United States Champion of Clash in the Castle in a few weeks? We will see. Roughly ring that bell. Let's get this qualifying match in the way. Ali started off with kicks to Illidan off scoop and a slam. 
so soft match. Oh, nice cover from Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov puts a snap suplex. All he's dazed. Dragunov setting him up for a reverse suplex. Amazing. Dragunov going for the cover now. Thinks he has it. One. No. He must fall. He kicks out. And Dragunov wasting a little time. Short DDT. Think of Andrew down the Tacking the arm now. And now what's Dragunov looking for here? Fisherman's Buster. Man, Dragunov is on fire. Oh, are we way back up? Looks for a DDT. Tilt a wall DDT. Ali right back in this match with chops. And now looking for a. Oh, what was that? We're going for the cover. One. No. Ilya Dragunov kicks out. This match continues. And Miss Fowley not banging now with kicks and strikes. Springboard DDT. He loves that Springboard DDT. Ali climbing the top rope. But look at the fly. 450 splash connects from the top rope. Ali climbing the top rope again. Looking to do more damage. Oh, the old 21! Oh, that's a one, two, no! Ilya Dragunov kicked out. Must finally not back in now. Sometime. Dragunov right back up. Oh, uh, it wasn't the chops from Ali. But, ooh, snap German from Ilya Dragunov. Went for the cover there, but Ali able to kick out. The Lariat from Dragunov is right back in the smash. Oh, Ali, fighting through the pain. Chops to Dragunov. Tosses him out of the ring. Oh, punch him right in the face, trying to knock him off the apron. And there we go. Third time's a charm. Ilya Dragunov sent to the outside. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Ali going for a camel clutch on Ilya Dragunov, which I don't know that's the smart move. The only way my pinfall or submission on the out on the inside. Or oh, Dragunov realizing he's got to fight out of this and escapes the hold. Tossing Ali back in the ring. Then you send him back in. Referee at five. Oh, Ali with a Carolina. Now climbing, oh, on the apron, was Ilya Dragunov up on his feet? The Face Buster! And he's not going for, oh yeah, he is going for cover, just trying, trying off away from the rope so he doesn't get a rope break. Now the cover, one, two, no! Ilya Dragunov kicks out! How on earth did Ilya Dragunov kick out of that? He thought he was all done. Miss Raleigh with a knee. Oh, Dragon Off dodges the other one. Eats it as a gear, though. Oh, Ali saying on him. Climb top rope. Looking for the. Oh, 21. No! Dragon Off got the knees up. Well scouted. Dragon Off's had a fight. Now, sunset flip. Knocks Ali down. But, oh, Ali with a counter. Dragon screw leg whip. Just like that, Ali has suffered square one, basically. It's going to take a lot to beat this man. Chop the connects. And Ali going for the cover. One, two, three. Just like that, Ali wins a match. And now he advances to fail for way to crown an ongoing United States champion at Clash on Castle. But man, what a match that was. I still cannot believe Mustafa Ali is undefeated is singles action. I mean, he's just been unstoppable. Mustafa Ali has just been unstoppable. Earlier dying now, though, he showed heart, he showed fire, he showed guts, but in the end, Ali was able to win basically with a drop kick. Which is always a surprise when a wrestler wins with a move that's not his finisher. 
But Ali just wore Ilya Dragunov's body down to where he just couldn't kick out. And it will... I mean, I don't even know what you call that upset I mean, even. I mean, that's just when the most impressive... Mustafa Ali just continues to impress. He may even be stepping up for world champion eventually. I could see that happening. But coming up next is a guy who has... Coming up next is... Um, a match between Drew McIntyre and Otis of Heavy Machinery. That's going to be a good match. That's coming up next, people. Man, this is a match I'm really looking forward to. Oh, boy, these guys, there they are. The Alpha Academy. There's Otis of Heavy Machinery on the left. The man is scheduled to wrestle in this match. One half of the tag team Heavy Machinery. He's the only one who gets Drew McIntyre tonight. And this is Otis's first singles match here in WCW. And... Um... With this day and age and... Wrestlers making alliances with each other. This one is proving to be a pretty solid one so far. But you gotta watch out for this guy right here. Drew McIntyre. A force to be reckoned with in the ring. There he is with that sword of his. I love this part. Wait for it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Do it, Drew. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Drew McIntyre, a... He has had... piled up quite the losses here in WCW World Chess of Wrestling, but he has not let that phase him. He understands he's got to start from the bottom up and... Take on these younger, less experienced stars. And I think Otis is going to be a perfect, a good opponent for Drew McIntyre here tonight. Big man with not a whole lot of experience. Drew McIntyre, I do believe he could beat Otis, but the recent, Drew's recent history is. Gonna be some look on to can he break this losing streak? I don't know. We're about to find out though. Ring that bell, referees, get this match in the way. Oh, just says our clubbing blows in McIntyre. The belly, the belly connects. Oh, just a little showbun ring. McIntyre right back up to his feet. Oh, nice kick from McIntyre. Me. Oh, oh, spice the kick. Drew McIntyre on the ropes. And Otis, what's he doing? Oh, belly the belly over the ropes and out of the ring. The strength of Otis on full display. Otis saying no for a carry off a counter win, but Drew quickly recovers. Drew trying to figure out how best to deal with his opponent here tonight. Oh, referee trying to control Otis. He lets Drew get back, get back in the ring. And Drew right in control with a... Oh! Some sort of a uh, power I guess? The strength of McIntyre on display, too. Now McIntyre, not the neck breaker. Now McIntyre climbing the top rope. What's he got in mind here? Oh no. Look at that. No. Oh, he was Otis up on his feet. You know what, Andrew? Oh, misses with the clothesline. I think he overshot that one. Now, Otis taking full advantage. Fireman's carry. Drops Drew McIntyre to throw first on the top rope. Now, Otis climbing the top rope. Otis looking to fly. Oh, big splash cutter. That was huge. Oh, 300 plus pounds of Otis Dozovich. 
Yeah, you know, Otis came for a submission. Trying to make Drew McIntyre submit. Tap, always went down. Oh, Drew fights out of it before Otis gets that fully locked in. Oh, oh McIntyre with an amazing counter. Got to stay on him. Headbutt. McIntyre's back in this match, but for how long? Now, McIntyre over a submission of his own. He's got... I think I always had that locked in completely. Oh, Otis, though. No, he's... He's got a fight out, and he does. Oh, man, this has been back and forth. Oh, Otis misses with a clothesline. Drew McIntyre takes full advantage. Suplex to Max. Wow. These two big men going right after one another. McIntyre, stomach wears his chest. You're trying to wear him down even more. Tacking the arm. McIntyre back in control. Oh! Future shock DDT connects. McIntyre goes for the cover. Oh! Says that too, actually. Realizes Otis was close to the ropes. Well, Otis with a back body drop. Basically, nice counter there. Elbow drop connects. McIntyre right back up. Claymore kick from McIntyre. That's it. That's it. That will do it. Goodbye, Otis. One, two, three. Three, Drew McIntyre picks up his first win in WCW. And there was no doubt in my mind, that was a good match there. McIntyre overcame in the numbers, the odds, defying the odds, and just... Having the Alpha Academy walks away humiliated. And it looks like, I mean, that was actually a very good match by McIntyre. He looked down at times and he came back, hit that Claymore on Nowhere. Coming up tonight, coming up next, is as promised our main event AJ Styles and Sheamus. The one on one against each other to determine who will challenge Damien Priest for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship at Clash in the Castle in August. Oh, it's uh, going to be a heck of a main event. This was our main event back at SummerSlam when Sheamus was World Champion before Damien Priest cashed in on... cashed in the money in the bank on um, Sheamus to win the championship. Win WCW World Heavyweight Championship, and now these two men will go out of here on Monday night. This is our main mission show. is coming up next. I must say, this is definitely one of the best shows I've ever seen. And no, but hey, this one we're gonna get more phenomenal from here. That is. For sure, AJ Styles out of the ring tonight, getting ready to take on his SummerSlam opponent, Sheamus, to determine who will challenge Damon Priest at Clash and Castle in August. I don't know exactly when that is, people, but hey, it's going to be a good match. AJ Styles played the heck of a fight against Sheamus at SummerSlam the other week, and it was AJ Styles is a superstar. He is. He is such a star in the company. She feels like he deserves this opportunity. And surprisingly, he's not coming out with his Bullet Club teammates. Uh, Kyle Wiley and Roderick Strong. I've heard a lot of AJ Styles had a bit of frustration with a and Strong, his Bullet Club teammates, but. So, Styles going back at him one on one like he did at SummerSlam. But he's gotta take out this monster of a man. 
the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, former WCW World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, Sheamus feels like he deserves the this. He deserves a shot against Damon Priest for WCW, but WCW World Heavyweight Championship right now. I mean. Damon Sheamus was champion when Damon Priest cashed money in the bank on him and won the belt. Uh, by the way, thank you all so much for the views on that last week's episode. I mean, wow. I, I just wanted to bring that out. Over 1,700 views. I mean, it's just amazing. These two men look ready for battle on uh, Main Event on TV. No. Winner of this match becomes the morning contender for WCW World Heavyweight Championship Clash of the Castle. AJ Styles starts off his few strikes, but Sheamus able to fight back and drops AJ Styles to throw first on top rope. Just like that, Sheamus gets right back in this match, climbing the top rope. Oh! Styles dodges the elbow drop. Spring will move south from AJ Styles. And now Styles. Tighten the arm of Sheamus. Well, Sheamus right back up. Runs into a chop from Styles. Styles was looking for abdominal structure to a back into a gut buster. Styles they have to a great start in this this contest here. Styles targeting the arm again. Do it again. Oh, I think he may have found a way to beat Sheamus. This may be a good move. But what's that? That's that's Kyle O'Reilly's music playing. Leave. What is Kyle O'Reilly doing? Oh, Sheamus takes a tries to take advantage. Oh, but runs to a kick from AJ Styles. Just toss him out of the ring. Oh, Sheamus with a counter using the ropes for leverage there. Styles so him, but not much. He's got to fight his way back into this. Styles are the chokeslam backbreaker. Irish Coast backbreaker and then the broke kick! He did that a summer slam! And now Seamus might lose to his own finishing maneuver! Oh got left count one! Two! No! Seamus kicks out! Not losing to his own finishing maneuver like that! He ain't losing the broke kick, Seamus! As just as realizes he's gotta stay on him, climbs the top rope. And Sheamus meets him up halfway. Styles over with the crossbody. Grabs the Celtic Warrior. Kick to the back of that. The Styles. Stay it on. Sheamus. Stay on his big opponent. Keep him on ground. Sheamus not been able to do much in this match. He's got to find a way to get back into this. I thought Sheamus would be the one dominating Styles. Styles is kick DET. And now the cover. One. Two. No, Sheamus kicks out. Oh, sorry, I'll tell you that before you saw it, but hey. Oh, she Styles looking for the phenomenal form. Sheamus is hurt. Phenomenal form. Can I assess it? Cover him. One, two, three. And just like that, AJ Styles is your number one contender for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. I'll tell you what though, AJ Styles fought like he had something to prove there. And I do not disrespect him there. I don't blame him there. I mean, that distraction for Kyle Wiley with Kyle's music playing was a bit of a surprise. I mean, we're gonna have to, we know the Bullet Club is having a little frustrations, but we're just gonna have to look into this even more as AJ Styles will now face Damien Priest for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship at Clash and Castle. Um, folks, thank you so much for watching this episode of WCW. Um, next week, uh, we're gonna have more. Matches as usual, and well, we'll work on the card for now. Uh, next week, 
actually, we have a good one. Drew Gulak and Finn Balor will um, take each other on a qualifying match to determine who will enter that fatal four-way for the opportunity to become the inaugural United States Champion at Clash in the Castle. So, well, that won't be a main event or anything, but I hope you all look that's something to look forward to. Until next week, people, I'm Drew Chester saying so long. Have fun. God bless America. We will see you next week.